All right, guys, it's time to check out a really fun and whimsical exhibit from the Shoeseum, the bathroom section. Four pairs of Dunk SBs inspired by hygiene products. A couple of these pairs were a part of the gentleman's pack, and the other two were just generally inspired by hygiene products. So I brought them all together and brought them to life with their appropriate props, and these shoes were actually on display in the bathroom of the Shoeseum in San Diego. And then when I moved out to Las Vegas, they were the exhibit closest to the bathroom. And let's check them out. These shoes are super duper cool, and you wouldn't believe the looks on people's faces when I walked them through the Shoeseum and they saw Nikes inspired by hygiene products. Come over here and have a look at the first pair. It was released in 2006, and it's known as the BIC Dunk SB Low. The shoes were inspired by the BIC logo, which you'll see right here is black and yellow with a white outline, so of course the Dunks are black and yellow and white. To be honest, I think Nike could have done a better job here. I think it's a little bit far-fetched because when you look at this shoe without seeing the BIC logo, you wouldn't think of BIC. Anyway, let's have a look at the first pair of shoes from the Gentleman's Pack. It's called the Old Spice, another Dunk Low SB. The Gentleman's Pack was released in 2007. It included a Dunk Low, Mid, and High, and these are the low tops. The Mid was a pair of Peacocks, and they were on display in the bird section. The High are the Brutes. So when you look at the Old Spice shoes, you'll notice that they don't exactly resemble the Old Spice logo. And that's because over the years, Old Spice has sort of changed their logo and branding. But back in the day, Old School Old Spice looked a lot like these shoes. And if you want to know another funny thing about Old Spice, go on YouTube and search for Old Spice Charles Barkley. Back in the day, Charles Barkley actually did TV commercials for Old Spice deodorant. Let's have a look at the next pair, the High Tops. They're known as the Brutes, also a part of the Gentleman's Pack. You'll notice that this beautiful Dunk SB High is mainly green. And I like to think of this as one of three really amazing Dunk SB Highs that are green. The other two, of course, are the Hulks, which is one of the first Dunk SB Highs, and then, of course, the Skunks, a 420 release. When you look at this shoe, you'll notice that it's green with a metallic silver swoosh, and then notice this cool stitching right here. It actually resembles the Brute logo and can perfectly. They did a great job with this pair of shoes. Let's look at the last pair of shoes. Another high top. This pair was released in 2009, and it's known as the Bloody Gums, but it was inspired by Aquafresh. Notice the red, white, and blue upper, just like Aquafresh toothpaste. The reason why they're called Bloody Gums is because the outsoles are supposed to look like Bloody Gums or gingivitis. My brother is actually a dentist and I bought him a pair of these shoes to put on display in his office. These shoes are amazing and they're really brought to life with the toothpaste. It would have been amazing if they did laces that actually were red, white, and blue, sort of like the Fly Barber Dunk SB Highs that just came out. Anyway, you'll also notice among these shoes, toilet paper. And this signifies the maintenance at the Shoeseum. I gotta tell you, I've said all along, the Shoeseum is my dream job. And it is. But late at night when we closed the doors of the Shoeseum and we had to go into the bathroom and scrub toilets and clean floors, it was the one time where it wasn't my favorite job in the whole world. But it was something that I had to do and as the owner of a business with a public restroom, the restroom had to be clean because the restroom is really a microcosm of the rest of the place. And you know how you feel when you go into a restaurant or a business and the bathroom is dirty? That couldn't be in the Shoeseum. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed checking out the hygiene inspired shoes and there was one other setup in the bathroom of the Shoeseum, and that was the Reebok pumps. Sort of a joke because I think Reeboks are crappy.